has preaching that King James Bible teaching that door to door soul reaching it's good enough for me give me that old paths preaching that King James Bible teaching that door to door soul reaching it's good enough for me it's my joy and privilege to introduce to you Pastor Tyler Candy He's the Old Paths preacher. Now, he's not old in years, but he's mature beyond his years. And he takes as his final authority the King James Bible. It's my joy to present the Old Paths preacher. Hello and welcome back to From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And I'm very grateful that you are here again, as always. And I'm always so encouraged to get the texts and the messages from you all when you hear something on these devotionals that touches your heart and you share it out with somebody, and I hope that you'll do that today as well. Let's go ahead and take our King James Bible. We're going to be in Second Peter this morning uh, or this afternoon, whenever it is that you're watching, and you can watch anytime, 6 a.m. and onward. And we are continuing in our series from my studies to you and sharing some thoughts that uh, I've seen from my books that I've read or some things that I've studied that I can share with you and hope to be an encouragement to you. So in Second Peter chapter 3, we're going to be looking at verse 9 here. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now, this is a, a very often used verse, and, uh, and it's used in many different ways, and most of the time it's used in the proper way, I would say. I would say. And I'm going to look at this in the last, uh, last half of that. So, the part that says, but is long suffering. So we're talking about God here. And I want to talk about the long suffering Lord. And there's four things that I see here in the second half of this verse. So the first part is he is a long suffering toward usward, to usward. Okay, so he's a long suffering Lord. This goes to the character of God that he's long suffering towards people. Uh, you can see this anywhere. Uh, you can see this in your own life, how you came out of something and you look back on that time of your life and you, you, you think to yourself, I was very dumb. You know, I, I made a lot of wrong choices. And you know what? God left me here to be able to make those wrong choices and to be able to learn from them, to grow from them and to turn back to him. He was long suffering in your life. He's long suffering in a lot of lives of a lot of people so that they can one day come back to him, whether that's through salvation or through rededication. Uh, he is a long suffering Lord. So that talks to his character. Then we see the objects of his compassion, which is us word. He says, but is long suffering to us word. He's long suffering to us word. The, the Bible tells us while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And that's who we are, the objects of his compassion. We are the reason he is long suffering is because we haven't yet come to Christ or because we haven't yet turned back to him. And so he's long suffering with us. Then we see the purpose of his patience and that's salvation. Uh, this is all talking about how he doesn't want any to perish, but uh, all should come to repentance. It says that he doesn't, he's not willing that any should perish. That means that he doesn't desire for anybody to be lost, to not come to him. And we also, if you look over in First Peter chapter 3, you'll see how uh, God was long-suffering in the days of Noah. While Noah was building the ark, he was long-suffering them as well. He was patient during that time. He was patient because he wanted to save those who would be saved. And it only ended up being Noah and his family, uh, but those were the ones that were willing to be saved. And so who is willing to be saved in this time? God is long suffering while we here are working to help others realize their need of, a, of salvation and, and of a savior who is Jesus Christ. And then finally, we see the great need of man, which is that all should come to repentance. And this is really where it comes down to is we all need to turn our hearts to him. We all need to come to that point in which we need to accept Christ as our Savior. And if you are saved and you're not living for him, we need to come to that point of repentance where we turn our hearts back to him and we live our lives for him. We live him uh, conformed to the image of Jesus Christ and uh, doing the will that God would have us to do in our lives. So we have a very long-suffering Lord. How do you see this in your life? How do you see this in the lives of the people around you? How God is long-suffering. And, and this teaches us a character trait that you and I can exemplify. This is a communicable character trait of God, an, a, an attribute of God, is that we can be long-suffering. 
Are you long-suffering with your neighbor as God is long-suffering with you? This is your old past preacher saying, contend for the faith, pray for revival, and it is good enough for me. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Tyler Candy, for those words that have touched our hearts today. And let's call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, shall we? Let's bow our heads. And right now, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, will you call upon Him and pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. Come in my heart right now and be my Savior and take me to heaven when I die. And if you've done that, let us know that we might encourage you. And if you have special needs, let's pray and trust the Lord for each of these today. Thank you, Father, for the old paths preacher. In Jesus' name, amen. Give me that old paths preaching. That King James Bible teaching, that door-to-door soul reaching, it's good enough for me. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.